right now, I'm looking forward to introducing you to, if you don't know this guy, uh, the man who's going to be the next congressman, in my opinion, from Congressional District 11. That would be David Harmer. Mr. Harmer, how are you, sir? Doing great, Brian. How are you? We're doing fine. And I know, based upon the polling, which I'm privy to, uh, you're doing pretty darn fine as well against Jerry uh, McNerney, who's been uh, in office there uh, representing the folks in CD11, allegedly (laughs) representing them for the last two go-rounds. Things are going very well, Mr. Harmer. They're going phenomenally well, and we've just received the latest corroboration of that. Survey USA did a poll of 624 likely voters in the 11th district. They came up with Harmer 48 percent, McNerney 42 percent, a good solid 6 percent lead. Well, we can't let up at this point in time, and I do know, I, I just find it amazing. I knew that Jerry McNerney was in trouble when suddenly he had something like $1.5 million sent into his district, right? <laughs> That's right. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee knows that one of Nancy Pelosi's most reliable rubber stamps is in trouble, so they dispatched $1.5 million for TV buys alone, and they're spending hundreds of thousands more on attack mailers, and uh, we're going to make them waste it all. It's just not going to oh. work, because this race is a referendum on the incumbent. We're going to keep it that way. Jerry's doing anything he can to change the subject, and we're not going to let him. You know, uh, I want you to explain to us and our listeners where CD11 is. Again, we've got people all over the Bay Area, and and a lot of folks get mixed up on which district is what. Uh, But because you have such an excellent opportunity here, I know there are some other candidates that are doing a whale of a job trying to build their campaign and get their message out, and I give them so many props. But David Harmer... Yours is, is, your campaign is so successful. Again, Nancy Pelosi have snapped her fingers. A couple million dollars have come in to try to uh, support Jerry McNerney. Tell us about the district, first of all. Well, Brian, I agree with you. You know, uh, all the good conservative candidates running deserve our support and kudos to them. But in the entire state, this is the district we're most likely to recapture. And wherever you are in the Bay Area, whether you're in the 11th district or not, Even if you can't vote for me, I can vote for you. This is our best chance Mm -hmm. to get a real Reagan Republican sent to Washington. But let me tell you where the district is. It's most of San Joaquin County and then parts of Contra Costa, Alameda, and Santa Clara County. Thanks to the miracle of gerrymandering, this district stretches from Gilroy clear out to Lodi, uh, from Danville out to Manteca and Tracy, Ripon, and Escalon. Uh, in the East Bay, the big cities are Danville, San Ramon, Dublin, Pleasanton, and all uh, stretching down to Morgan Hill, San Martin, Gilroy, out to uh, Brentwood, Discovery Bay, Byron. Any of those areas, plus most of San Joaquin County, you're in the 11th district. Yeah, this is a big, strange-looking strange. district. Yes, but this is a great opportunity now. David Harmer is our guest. His website HarmerForCongress.com. David, I've I've, uh, so, well, I'll try to be nice here. Some of these attack mailers that Jerry McNerney's people are sending out are just so filled with lies it makes my stomach sick. That's the, the kind of games they're playing here are beyond the pale. It goes beyond most of which I've ever seen in my life. Maybe you could address some of this for us right now. I don't mean to put you on the defensive <laughs> no, and have quite... you defend these things, but this is ridiculous. What he's doing is shameful. It's quite all right. You know, I, honestly, I think it's pathetic. I mean, he really takes the voters for fools. Uh, you know, the charges are, um, are really over the top. He wants to abolish Social Security. He wants to ab- abolish public schools. This is what uh, he's saying you know, about you. Yeah, yeah he, he's, he's a Wall Street banker. I mean, the closest I worked to Wall Street was Pleasanton, California. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, you know, Jerry's not letting the facts get in his way. Yeah. But, look, I, he, the, the race is about Jerry McNerney, period. It's a referendum on him, yes. not anybody else, and certainly not the challenger. He's the one who voted for the bailouts. He's the one who wasted a trillion borrowed dollars on the so-called stimulus, which hasn't stimulated anything but federal spending. He's the one who voted for Obamacare, which raised taxes by half a trillion dollars and cut Medicare by half a trillion. He's the one who voted for a budget with a record-breaking $1.5 trillion deficit. He's the one who's passing all of this on to our children and grandchildren. He's the one who voted for cap-and-trade, this mammoth national energy tax, and you torpedo that in Climategate. It's all him. 
this election is a referendum on him and his pernicious policies that have driven the economy into a ditch. If you're happy with the way things are going, McNerney's your guy. If you've had enough, if you're fed up, come help the challenger. Head to harborforcongress.com, H-A-R-M-E-R-F-O-R congress.com. Pitch into the Treasury. Keep us on TV these last couple weeks. Uh, sign up to volunteer. We need your help. This is, I mean, this is really exciting, Dave Harmer. And the other thing that I think is so important, you're a business guy, so you understand how a budget works. You can manage a profit and loss statement. Jerry McNerney is completely incapable of that. As you mentioned, he's just a Nancy Pelosi rubber stamp vote. But I think it needs to be made known, before you were a businessman, you worked for institutions, for example, like the Heritage Foundation, didn't you? Yeah, I was a fellow at Heritage. I was published by the Cato Institute. Uh, I was an attorney at Pacific Legal Foundation, which litigates and defends. Oh, just one of the great organizations. Freedom. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I actually started my uh, my career as counsel to the Senate Judiciary Committee. I was doing battle with the staffs of thoroughly despicable human beings like Ted Kennedy, Joe Biden, and uh, <laughs> Pat Leahy. So uh, the most important thing I learned from that is uh, never turn into an Arlen Specter. No, no. <laughs> No, and uh, let me tell you something. You also have a, a wonderful family, and you're dedicated to your family, and I, I believe you're also going to be one of those congressmen, just like Richard Pombo, who used to represent that district. Uh, Mr. Pombo would fly back home every weekend. I have a feeling you're going to be that same type of guy, David Harmer. Well, definitely, partly because the Little Harmers are pretty happily situated in their schools and sports and everything here. And uh, look, this is home. You know, San Ramon is where Elaine and I chose to put down roots and raise our kids. Um, I, you know, you mentioned that I uh, married over my head. I once uh, <laughs> I was speaking to a group of Republican women federated and, and you know, said how, how uh, much I appreciated Elaine that I'd really married over my head. And a lady piped up, oh, all men do. <laughs> and I had no response. No, the the correct response is you're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> right. David Harmer, again, it's Harmer for Congress dot com. This is a race that the Democrats are extremely worried about, such that Nancy Pelosi snapped her fingers and a couple million dollars has come in to try to support the incumbent. You need to support David Harmer, harmer for congress com. David Harmer, thanks for joining us on KSFO. We'll be back at you very soon. OB and Brian, always a pleasure. All right, Great talking good. to you. 13 past 7 KSFO.